Hi there, this is a quick tutorial on getting Windows 7 to allow themes to be installed. Uh, as you probably know, Windows 7 comes with very minimal themes to choose from. Uh, this tutorial will show you how to install Hyperdesk on your Windows 7 PC. Um, what we first need to do is to grab the Universal Theme Patcher which will allow us to patch the Windows 7 DLLs. Um, there's a few choices to go to, but your most reliable one is going to be deepxw.blogspot.com. So if we go there and we choose the download link, we'll go for that one, um, save the file. Before we open that up, what you'll be faced with when you get there, yes, no, let's just open that up. Um, what's his name? Two choices, 64 bit, 32 bit. I'm on a 64, so let's go there. English, okay. There are three yeah. files that need to be patched, which we'll see in a moment. Let's go for yes. Now, I've already been here before, so you can see that the three files, you'll just patch one two and three once you've done that you're ready to install hyperdesk on your pc so let's get shot of that once you patch them let's get shot of that and that um, just have a quick look at hyperdesk if we can um, hyperdesk hyperdesk it's quite a cool application. There's a few choices you can make from um, some of the looks of the products. They do patches for Windows XP, Vista, and 7, and also the PS3. We're interested in Windows 7, so let's have to take a quick look there. Go like, I think there's Solar Flare, the Amber, Gamma, and Subspace. We'll be installing Subspace in this tutorial. So let's go into what previously downloaded is Hyperspace Hyperdesk files. Um, as I say, we'll do Dark Matter Subspace in this case. I'm on 64 bits, which, oops, so we choose that. Nope, oh, choose that one. Let's run that. Hyperdesk install will start up. Okay, let's go get out of that. Let's go for the next on that. I've already been here once, so we're down modifying. You'll get the clean install features when you when you install yours for the first time. Next again, install. And we finish up there. Um, let's get a shot of that for the moment. This happens every single time, I don't know why it does it. Second, I don't want to resume. Let's come out of parallels altogether. Um, parallels, quick parallels desktop. We'll go back in there again. It's going to resume. I don't want it to resume. I don't want to do that either. What the hell is it doing there? Let's come out of there. That's what I want to do. I want to stop it completely. This won't happen with yours. It's just I've got a little bug in my setup. I don't know what's going on there. So let's, let's go back in there. It's all quite quick. You notice that I've got a hack on the Windows boot screen as well, which we'll cover in another tutorial. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's start itself up. Yeah. 
It's taking some time, but we're there. <laughs> Installed, so Hyperdesk by default will put itself in the skins factory directory. Then we go to subspace, which is installed. Hyperdesk, this uh, one there. So we'll try this one. We're going to install. It's quite a drastic change once you see what's going on. So, firstly, we get all the choices hyper theme, icon set, wallpaper, widgets, media player skin. Make sure all those are enabled. Then apply that to the hyper suite. Takes a few seconds, but let's uh, let it do its thing. You see, straight away things are starting to change. It really is a cool application. So now everything's changed from your desktop. Getting aside, all looks the same. But overall, the theme is much better than Windows. Default. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. We'll try hacking the boot screen sequence in the next tutorial.